Hello everybody. Hey, I want you to take 10 minutes and grab yourself a cup of coffee here and watch this video. Hopefully you can find something entertaining, informational, and maybe enlightening. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, we're back on the Jeep again. We got some work to do on that little critter. <laughs> Something jumped at me. <laughs> it wasn't nothing important, but I thought it was a mousetrap. Anyway, we're going to have to work on that one of these days. Yeah, that one we're taking in tomorrow, putting in a new muffler on that one. Now, here's what we're working on or will be working on in this video. Uh, you know, I, these are nice tires. They're Cooper. They're great. But they're off-road more or less, and we're going to just be towing this, mainly. Uh, now, when we're not towing it, I'll just switch tires out. It ain't that big a deal for me not having a shop. Just jack it up, swap them out. But I picked these up, and these are like brand new. Two weeks of work. You know, I bought them off of the old... Uh, Facebook marketplace and so I'm going well You never know what you're going to get till you get it Well, the guy wasn't lying. These are in excellent shape as you can tell by the tread uh, There's their standard Jeep wheels. They're uh, 255 17 uh, 255 70 18 inch wheels uh, Look like brand new tires and wheels we had to drive uh, oh, about a 160 mile round trip to get them, but that's okay. Uh, we got them for really, really good price. I only paid 250 for the whole set. You can't beat that. So we're going to put these on for at least trailering on our next trip, which you're going to see those videos coming up soon. Uh, we're going to put these on for trailering. We get back and we're going to do any four wheel, and I just swap these out. But right now, uh, I'm going to get in on that right there, so stay tuned. Well, we got them unloaded, and I measured them out. Yep, these are uh, an inch narrower, and about a quarter of an inch shorter than those, but them are worn down a bit. They would be probably a full inch if they were ever brand new like this one is. But that's going to be great for towing. Like I said, I wanted road tires. It'll be a lot better for noise, too. You all know that. Yeah, them look pretty good, and I'll probably, I'll be putting them back on here sooner or later. But these wheels are not as good as you would look, you would think, when you get up close to them. They got a bunch of bangs and bruises to them, but that's okay. They're going to be great for out in the up in the sticks or wherever we're going with them. But let's put these on here now and see what that looks like. I don't think I'm going to need a spare. That spare is the same. Well, I'll take one of these and put it back there as a spare. Because it's the same height as this one, these. So I'll probably do that. But there we go. Let's get them put on there and see what they look like. Well, as I said, this is uh, the next day, and it's 25 degrees out there, so the doors are shut. Okay, a couple problems we're going to have with these tires is they're not marked, so I don't know where they came off of. I will mark these when I take them off. So I know, I will know uh, which one goes front, left, so on and so on. So what I'm trying to do is figure out which one, which two are the dirtiest because them are usually on your front wheel. If you'll know, notice that, that your front wheel kicks out a little dust. So I got to figure that out yet. I haven't at this time, but I wanted to show you something that, uh, but here's something you want to check. When you get any vehicle, not just a Jeep, and that one is really loose. So, I'm just going to put that right back down in there because we're not probably ever going to use it again. But what you want to do in that case is you want to put your own tools in here. Put your ratchet, extension, whatever, so you can break that... Uh, tire loose because it ain't gonna do you no good to have a spare tire if you can't take the bolts off and change it so keep that in mind guys this one here it's a loose 19 19 I don't know if it's a 19 or if it's 
I can't tell which one's loose. This one is a three-quarter. I would have hoped that they were three-quarter, but I don't know. They're both a little unloose, not snug like I want them. But anyway, I'm going to set you up. We're going to check out these tires. You can see how yeah, uh, that one's pretty dirty. That one's pretty dirty. <laughs> Problem is, I think they're all about the same. That's a little cleaner. Yeah. Well, this is the best we can do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them two on front. Wherever they are. There, come on, focus in. There we go. Those two on front and uh, the others on back. Uh, I'm going to set up a couple video cameras. High speed to crap out of this. So you don't need to see how to change a tire. Uh, I might show you uh, some tricks I use because I'm old. But uh, here's what I want to show you right here. That is... Let's see if we can get it right down there. That's how much it sticks out there. So let's see, compare this picture to uh, when we put the other one on. Okay, there we go. Well, I think you can see the height difference here. Uh, let me go get a tape and we'll stick it right on there, then you can see. All right, we got the tape now, which ain't going to make a lot of difference. I mean, we're only talking about uh, an inch an inch difference which is what I thought now we got a this is a uh, uh, 285 70 17 this one is a 255 70 18 Bigger rims, smaller tires. So that's why we're going to put them on there. That's going to gain us a half an inch of height, make it lower. I know I'm going totally opposite that everybody else will be going, but sometimes you go back so you can go forward. Like I said, we'll use those tires uh, when we're done uh, towing this around the nation this summer. We'll stick them on when we go up in the mountains for sure, but it ain't that hard for me to change it with all my tools and everything. So we're swapping them out, and uh, you can see that. Now, not only is it uh, an inch shorter, it's also over a little over an inch wider, that one is. That one is about a 12, this one's about a 10. So you're, you're quite a bit different. Let me see if we can get the tape out here. Hang on, I gotta get you crooked again. Well, you gotta always aim the tape. Okay, there's your tread right there. That's the true distance. That's eight inches right there. And then we got, right here we got nine inches to the tread. Now the, the sidewall itself is let's see, uh, let's see if that's about right. I'm sorry it's upside down, but you know, they make tapes that way, what can I say? 11 inches that way, wall to wall. Wall to wall here is 10 inches. So there's an inch difference in width, about an inch difference in height. So let's get one put on there. I took that off the spare tire. Now another thing I'm gonna put on here is I'm gonna put some never sees on these. Any kind of stuff you wanna get that anti-sees Put a little on there, it's going to help it tighten up better and it won't rust on. Okay, let's get back to it. I thought we were just going to be filming this whole little 15 minute video real quickly. Well, it turned out to be one heck of a job. I'll tell you, I got the first tire up in the air there and I got four of the nuts off right away. But each nut I had to take and then take a punch and drive it back out of the socket because it was jamming in the sockets. You can see me doing that over at the vise. But then on the very last nut on the first wheel, it became a nightmare. As you're going to see, I'll explain it all to you right now. Well, let me show you what's going on here. You see these little things? They got the little chrome cover on them, so they look pretty. Well, they're cheaper than the real chrome ones, for sure. 
Problem is, what I'm having right now is that one of those chrome things twisted on there, and now I can't get my wrench out, and I can't get the bolt out. Don't ever buy the little fakey things. If you got them on your car, get rid of them, because if you were out on the road and that happened, like I just did there, you're screwed. Because I don't even know I'm going to get that out of there. It'll be a lot of work, that's for sure. Well, if that happens to you, uh, this is how I got it out. Got me a big pair of vice grips, stuck it into there, because I couldn't pull that out. There's no way to just grab it and pull it out. But, uh, and then I used the pry bar behind it with some tape on it so it wouldn't uh, scar up the wheel. And now I gotta figure out how to get the nut out there because it's still in there. It's probably all messed up in there. I gotta figure out how to get that out of there. So, a real quick job has turned into a big job. Well, got them on there, but I got them on there with the wrong nuts because I sure as heck ain't ever gonna use them nuts. Had to go buy more nuts because I don't know how I'm gonna get that off. They may end up going to a shop. I can't, I don't know if I can get it. And I, can, I don't like giving up, but sometimes you just got to. So I went and bought some of these today. There's what was in there, these fake, yeah, crappy uh, bolts. These here, solid, ain't gonna strip out, ain't gonna, they're just gonna work. But right there, $65 worth of nuts. So, I'm calling it a day. It took me all day to get all get everything done I needed done today. And we'll get in on this tomorrow, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some more techniques I know to get that one screwed up one out of there. And if I can, bonus. If I can't, I'll take it to the to the Les Schwab. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. I like the way they look, by the way. This side is, there are uh, three of them are on, the back's still jacked up, but I like the way that sits underneath there, and uh, it's going to be good for towing, like I said, once I get the, it would this was a 15 minute, half hour job, that ended up being all day long because of the stripped out bolt, uh, so when I come home and I'm not towing it anymore, and I want to go up in the mountains, it ain't going to be nothing to just swap out the tires and wheels. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to just, I'm not buying another spare tire. I'm just going to, they're close enough that I'll just throw one of them up on there and uh, put something, over, cover, a cover over it. Nobody will know, be the wiser. And uh, that way we're always set. All we got to do is change these four and hit the road. That's it for now, guys. I'm going to go take a break. It's been a long time. Okay, guys, it's late at night. Uh, I don't like leaving something undone and I don't like giving up so what I've done I got her done already what I did is I took that big that big old Tanya Harding right there and took this this this, this what is it a three-quarter no 11 sixteenths because the three-quarter was the size I was using so I took this through 11 sixteenths and I beat that thing on there. It's, uh, I already took it out of there, so, you, I mean, it was jammed. You can see the metal there. It jam I jam I beat that all the way up on there. Then I also torqued each bolt on each side of that one down real good and snug, and pop, there it is, it's out. Now I can go to sleep. Won't have to worry about that tomorrow. All I got to worry about is uh, doing, uh, putting the tire, putting the, this tire on, and then we're good to go. Good to go. Put the, this one will probably go up on the spare because it was being bad. It's a bad tire. Bad, bad tire. It'll go up on the spare. But uh, I wanted to show you this. Okay, here, that's the weight of the stock tires. That's the weight of the oversized tires. So that's a difference of 25 pounds. Well, 25 pounds times four equals 100. And plus you got the four and a carryover and 101. 
So that's 101 pounds off the, off the rig. And that's what we're trying to do is get it light uh, for towing. So we're down to one, uh, 480, I think, right now. Uh, of course, you got to depends on how much fuel put in it. But anyway, that's what we got going on there. So uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm ready to put that on tomorrow. See you in the morning. <laughs> I'm a happy camper. Well, that wheel's on the ground. I'm going to show you how to torque these, uh, but I wanted to show you this right here. Remember that other one was sticking out here. That is way underneath there now. I just, I like them bigger. They look great. But for what we're going to use it for, this is going to, I think this will work out excellent. Got to take it for a test drive, but I'm going to show you how to torque these down right now. Well, here we go, guys. I got the torque wrench out. Set it at 100, 100 pounds, foot pounds. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand and hold the camera in the other. But you guys know how to use one of these, I think. You just put it on there and... There you go, that one's tight. Yep. And that's how you torque them, guys, right there. And you probably want to... Oh, let's see, look at that one. Ha, <laughs> ha. That one there didn't get tightened in. So, it's just... There we go. They're all snug. Now, the best thing to do is go on a cross path, but my wrench had it so close to tight, my air gun, that uh, I knew I didn't need to do that. But that's it. All I got to do is lift that thing up on there. I may have to call for reinforcements. We'll find out. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this showed you some about what to torque your uh, rig at how to get these uh, stupid bolts off. I threw it away already. <laughs> but uh, there you go. She's back to uh, the way it was born. And uh, that'll work great for us. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I know it was longer than 10 minutes, but I got to get it done. See ya.